Suppose you wanted to generate a random number using the calculator. The calculator actually has four possibilities programmed in. A random number from a normal density, a random number from a uniform density, a random number from a binomial uh, density, and you may also generate a random integer. And this demonstration uses all four. In order to find these random number generators, we go under math and then PRB and we select one of them. Now the one that I've selected here is the RAND command and this will generate a random number between 0 and 1. You may also generate a list of these values by doing the following. Going under math then PRB and selecting RAND and then you tell it the number of random values you wish to generate. And here we see we have a list of random numbers. All of their values are between 0 and 1. Now next I will demonstrate the randint command. This is the random integer command. We go under math, we go to PRB, and we select the randint option. And with this option, we need to tell it a lower bound, in our case 0, and an upper bound for these integers, in our case 10. And it generates the random number 9. You may also generate a list of these random integers, and here's how. You go under Math, go to PRB, and select the randint option again. You give it a lower bound for the integers, you give it an upper bound for the integers, and you add in an additional argument for the number of random values you wish to have, in our case 3. And here we see we have three random integers between 0 and 10. Next I will demonstrate the randNorm command. This command generates a random number from a normal distribution. So we go under math, PRB, and we scroll to we get to rand norm. We tell it the mean and then the standard deviation, and here I'm using a standard normal. And we get a value of about 0.53. The rand norm command requires that you input a mean and standard deviation. You may also generate a list using these random values, and here's how. You go under math, PRB, select the rand norm option, and again enter a mean and a standard deviation and then you add in an additional argument for the number of random values you wish to have, in this case 7. And we have a list of random values normally distributed. Next I will demonstrate the rand bin command. This command uh, pulls random numbers from a binomial distribution. So we hit math, go over to PRB, and select rand bin. Now with the rand bin command, we enter in the number of trials, in this case 10, then we enter in the probability of success, in our case 0.5. And we get a value of 2. The rand bin command takes two inputs just like the rand norm command, and again they have to be the number of trials first and then the probability of success. If you wish to generate a list of these types of values, you may do so as well, and here's how. Go under Math, PRB, select Rand Bin, type in the number of trials, the probability of success, 
and then the number of values you wish to generate, in this case four. And here we have a list of our values. And this is how you may use the random number generator commands on the TI-8384 calculators.